Okay, so let's look at this uh, patch here, which is the a very simple synth which just generates a a sine wave, and this is the frequency of the sine wave is uh, related to um, the number it's pressed on a keyboard. Um, so at the top we have our note in object, and what that does is it will receive any MIDI information um, received by um, this sort of keyboard. So that's set up within um, media, MIDI settings, and then I can control which is the input device for that. Uh, so we can cancel that. Now the output of this will be note, the note number, the velocity and the channel information. And I've not connected the velocity and the channel information because um, we're just sort of demonstrating this very simple synth, synth which just uses the note on. So when I press a note on number, this uh, note number is passed to the MTOF and that stands for MIDI to frequency. So it will receive a number between 0 and 127 and then it will convert that to the relevant frequency. So for example, um, middle A is 440 hertz. So it passes that to this uh, uh, number box there. And then in turn, this number, this frequency, is passed to a OSC object. And what will happen is when it receives some audio, it will um, start, it, when it receives the frequency, it will start oscillating at, at that frequency. So this audio is then passed to the DAC, which is the sound card. Um, we can't hear anything at the moment because we haven't enabled the DSP system. And there we are. Now if I press keys, you'll notice that our oscillator will now communicate, starts oscillating with the frequency dependent upon um, what keys have actually been pressed. Uh, you'll also note that it will constantly output a, a note um, because we haven't put in any provision for dealing with notes off, which we will look at. Uh, later on. So this is a, a simple sine wave synthesizer without note-offs.